Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oasis back with another Ionic 4 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use this HTTP plugin from Ionic 4 library. So I'm in right now a native API section and here we have this HTTP. Uh, also, I want to mention that you could use Angular HTTP client module to do your http calls but by using this you're going to get some benefit for example you're going to get this ssl pinning also we have this background threading all requests are done in a background thread so there are some benefits using this native plugin uh, so yeah let's go and take a look how we can use this i'm going to take you to webstrom and here i have the application ionic tube which we were using in the last video so First thing what we want to do is we want to import this plugin to our module. So we can do that by importing that plugin, but remember to install it as well. So here we have two commands. You have to just copy this line of code. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to terminal. I'm going to paste that and press enter. And it's going to install this Ionic Cordova plugin. And also it's going to install Ionic plugin dash advanced HTTP. Also, we want to install this in, uh, Ionic Native HTTP beta. I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to press enter and it's going to install that plugin as well. So the next thing we want to go to take a look at our applications right now in home.page.html file. I have this get button which calls this function get request, right? And then we have this another request object. So we go to home.page.ts file and here you guys can see we have this request object and also we have a get request which doesn't have anything yet. So first thing, let's import our HTTP. So we'll do import and I'll do HTTP. We'll import from uh, Ionic Native and also wanna you know add this slash ngx. So if you take a look at, we have this a usage section which tells me it is slash ngx so i've got that here and now i need to add this http module into a product or you can call it a service so we can directly inject that into home.module.ts or you could add that into app.module as well so it's, it's okay to, you know, add in home.module.ts. And if you want to use this HTTP throughout your application, you're better off adding that app.module.ts because you can use this into any module later on because that's a parent module. So if you inject that into a parent module, you'll be able to use that in any child module. So we're going to go and add that to home.module.ts file. I'm going to press enter here and I'm going to say providers. And provider takes an array, we'll do HTTP, and then also from HTTP, then we're gonna add a comma here, and also I wanna add this slash ngx. Now it's all good now, guys. So let's go and write a function here which will help us to you know do a get request using that plugin. So we have this HTTP here, I want to inject that into a constructor. So we'll do private HTTP and then HTTP. Now inside this function, I want to use this dot HTTP dot get method. So get method requires three things: URL, parameters if there's any, and header if there's any. So we'll do just a simple URL. Now I needed to have a server running to do an API call. So instead of running my own server, I actually found this JSON placeholder. It's a fake online REST API for testing and prototyping. So that means I could just use this. So it allows us to do post requests, a get request, a put request, and a delete request. So this is basically if we can test our front end if our test if our HTTP methods are working or not. So let's take a look at the first one. This is a URL that we can call using HTTP module. So I could use this fetch, but we're using HTTP advanced plugin from Ionic or Cordova. So here I want to type a URL. I'll paste that here and then a comma. And I'll just pass in an empty object that requires two parameters. So we can just do an empty one. Now it's a promise. So we're going to go to next line and we're going to handle that with then. And then I'll say if I get the response back, then I want to set that response 
to request object. So this does request object is equal to response dot data. So if we take a look at the documentation of Ionic, so when we get back, we get the data back. So we get the response and we have a three things, status, data, and headers. We can take a look at later on, but let's take a look at what data we get back. I want to handle uh, the errors. So I'll go to the next line, I'll say dot catch. And if there is an error, then I can just, you know, set that this dot request object and we can just set that to error as well. So we'll see errors there as well. So now when we get the response back from this call, we save uh, the data into request object. And request object is in injected in our HTML file, which you will see what is the request object you're getting. So let's go to terminal and let's start our uh, emulator. So I want to do this Ionic Cordova Amulet IRS dash just target is equal to Ionic iPhone 8 and then dash dash library load. So I'm going to just press enter here and we will wait for our emulator to start. Okay, so our application is started. I'm going to go and click on this get button. Okay, cool. So we got this user one, ID one, a title delete us. AUT, it's just a fake data. Okay, I'm gonna go to this JSON placeholder and I'm gonna do a same call here. I'm gonna click on try and let's see what we get. So we got user one, ID one. Okay, so that means we're actually getting the same data. We're getting the data from here. So if I go to, for example, into do's, let me see if I can have any other, uh, other call. So we'll just, maybe let's go to post and then we can do a request for a post as well. Okay, so we'll do a post for, uh, that's a lot of posts, that's like a hundred posts that I wanna, I don't wanna do that. So if I go like, you know, get post one, which will return me this. So let's go and change this. So we'll go to home.page.ts and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna copy this URL and I'm going to paste that here. I'm gonna save it. And now we'll just get our emulator up and I'm gonna click on the get again. And this time I get this user ID title son. Oh, right, so we're getting the post now. Another thing to notice here, guys, this is coming from HTTPS, which means that we are actually doing this through SSL. So it's, it's a secure, uh, secure uh, API call. So this is good. So if you use the HTTP client, which is in Angular, you will have to write some code or you will have to enable SSL manually. So this is how you can use HTTP module to do your calls. Also wanna show you that you could do this uh, uh, post request, you could do this uh, delete request, or you could do this put request as well. So if we go to JSON placeholder, we go back and I'm gonna go and find any post request. So here I have a post request that's post. Um, yeah, so you could do basically post request. Uh, that's going to be a very long video, but you're going to give a try. And basically what you want to do is you want to provide these uh, parameters. So we do a URL, which would be this slash post. And then that body, if you want to add anything into your body for the post, then we have to define the headers as well. And that will just make a post request. All right, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in next one.